every now and then in life, you come to moments where you suddenly look at where you are and what you're doing, and you have this horrible moment of realization and self-doubt, and you look back on your entire life and wonder what mistake, or more correctly, what many, many, many mistakes led you to be where you are doing what you're doing in that moment, and suddenly regretting everything. I had such a moment today as I sat alone, a 30 year old single man, I sat alone in the cinema to watch Barbie at 10 a.m. alone on a Thursday morning on my day off and I sat alone in the cinema but despite the fact it was 10 a.m. I was not alone in the cinema, I just wasn't with anybody that I knew. There was plenty of people, it was a packed cinema, I don't know why, as I said 10 a.m. but there was I've got to say, at least 60, 6 to 12 year old girls, maybe a couple of teenagers wagon school. I don't really know why anyone was there. It's 10 a.m. on a Thursday. This is a safe space for me to go see movies that I'm clearly not the target audience for. And so I feel comfortable going at 10 a.m. to my local cinema and sitting down in an empty cinema alone. Sitting alone in a cinema where there's about a hundred other people and you know I only glanced for like one second as I decided not to walk to my seat and just stop second row at the back and just sit down at the very far corner because an old lady with two like six-year-old children like this 80 year old lady just looked at me up and down like I'm some kind of predator because I'm seeing Barbie alone in a hoodie in a black hoodie sitting in the corner of a cinema filled with children at 10 a.m on a Thursday and I've got this horrible beard and just this unfortunate looking face dark in a cinema i can see why she looked at me like that but i'm not gonna let this old lady who thinks i'm a pedophile and all these children in the cinema who don't even know i'm in the cinema because i'm sitting at the very corner of the room with a hoodie on in the darkened corner so they can't see me i'm not gonna let them ruin my hype for this movie i'm an amateur youtuber i've got to see this movie today i've got to experience barbenheimer i've got to experience the cultural phenomenon that is barbie slash oppenheimer Barbenheimer. I'm not gonna let them get to me, so I'm gonna sit down and watch this movie. Unfortunately, I then had to sit and down and watch the movie because <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't like the movie. It didn't. It didn't work for me. It tried to do some really interesting things, some really interesting themes. It tried to tackle some really adult, political, intense stuff. It falls flat. Uh, it's a comedy. I didn't find it funny. The acting's amazing. Wait, no, that's a positive. The acting is amazing. No negative there. They are all amazing. Oh, wait, no, there is. A lot of the characters are underdeveloped and bad. Uh, the art direction is amazing. No negative there. The art direction is so amazing. Actually, no, there is a negative. The art direction and set design and costumes are amazing. But they're in a bad movie. But hey, <laughs> who cares what I think? Because this Ken is not the target audience. The highlight of this film is the aesthetic. This film looks amazing. The costumes and the set design and the art direction is incredible. Everyone who made this film on that side of it should be so happy with how everything turned out. It's really interesting. It's really unique. It's a really great kind of like, it's like the vision that they've had to make this, the version that we've gotten is the best case scenario. If that makes sense. Like I can't understand how someone will go, okay, we want it to look like this and do, do this and this and this. And they could totally overly rely on CGI or they could build sets and it just wouldn't work visually whereas what they do and how they get the story and like the idea of this Barbie land across is spectacular. The acting in this movie is really really great. Obviously the highlight is Margot Robbie as kind of stereotypical Barbie or Barbie Barbie and Ken or one of the Kens played by Ryan Gosling is the standout even though I think he's super, super one note at times, Ryan Gosling's delivery of this one note is amazing. He's really, really funny. The only moments that got like a mild kind of like, <laughs> kind of chuckle out of me, like a, like I, I, I nodded my head and went, that I suppose is funny. I didn't get any laugh out loud moments in the film. I'm that guy in the cinema that like laughs out loud. I like, I'm very audible when I think something's funny. And for me, that's the real big letdown of this film is that, of all the things, I wanted it to be a fun comedy because it looked like it was going to be a really fun comedy. And it's so unfunny. I found this film to be shockingly, painfully unfunny. 
in that it tries to do jokes and it does jokes and like it's not funny it's like really unfunny and I was in a cinema filled with the target audience because I know what you're gonna say you're not the target audience the jokes aren't for you well the start of the movie is a 2001 Space Odyssey reference that definitely wasn't there for the 12 year old girls so that's a joke for me for some reason I, I can't believe that was actually in the movie that's like the best part of the movie it's so funny it's so bizarre and surreal it's a really great moment but the cinema was like dead silent i expected at 10 a.m to be in a cinema alone so when i walked in and i saw all these people i was horrified because i'm socially awful but i was actually kind of happy because then i was like oh cool now i can see what this film is going to be like for the people it's for like directly for and i don't think they found it funny they may have found it inspiring and interesting and like fun but not funny because they got two laughs and both of them were to do with the fact that the the barbies and the kens don't have genitalia they were both very low hanging fruit if you will genitalia related jokes and they got the only reactions out of the audience but who knows maybe they were just laughing because they were like oh my god ryan gosling penis i'm excited because i'm gonna be honest that excites me too. But despite the fact that I did not really like this movie at all, the fact this film exists, for me at least personally, as someone who doesn't like Barbie and didn't like this movie, I am so happy this movie exists. One, for all the Barbenheimer memes and just that whole cinema discussion, just what a joyous kind of last two weeks it's been as we've all gotten ready for these two movies. These two such very different movies coming out on this day. I have just had so much fun with all of that. And the fact that this movie has given Dua Lipa her new single, Dance the Night. It's such a good song. It's like the best part of the movie where they just literally dance to that song. They just, they just boogie out. And Ken gets a song that Ryan Gosling sings at the end, like I Am the Ken or whatever it's called. And that's stunning as well. Really, really fun. Those two musical numbers are the highlights of the film. They're so fun. They're so cool. I wish the rest of the movie had that fun energy where it's just so much of the, the rest of it had like, it was trying to do that fun energy, but every time someone would say a joke, I'd just be like, ooh. Another thing I found about the story and the structure and kind of the pacing of everything that I found a little bit off was that Ken and Barbie, the main two, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, they get heaps of stuff to work with and their arcs kind of get enough time to breathe and they get full arcs, even though, I don't know, for Ken, it's kind of like, it's super one note, it's really, really funny. At times, I mean, it's not like laugh out loud funny, but he's so charismatic. Ryan Gosling is just so charismatic that I found him to be above the writing and the material. Whereas Margot Robbie, like her arc and her story of like what it means to actually be Barbie and that kind of fish out of water that she goes through and that kind of journey of self-discovery, all of that is amazing. And Margot Robbie nails it. There's some really great emotional little moments with her. All of that stuff is great. Every single other character in this movie is like totally wasted in that they are set up to be something and then they like forget, like the script forgets that they need to like earn these moments. Like Will Ferrell is in this movie and he is introduced and immediately after his introduction, completely forgotten. And the biggest, most egregious kind of wasted potential of characters is our main two kind of human characters, which is a mother and daughter. America Ferrari, Ferreira? Ferrari? Uh, she's the absolutely incredibly attractive ugly betty from ugly betty and she's the mom and she has a daughter and her and her mom go through this arc and it's so underdeveloped it is like shockingly underdeveloped it just kind of like turns on a dime and there are these big kind of emotional and for i think a lot of people will be fist bump moments of like yes with the mother and the daughter and big huge emotional moments but for me they just didn't feel earned it was like oh but you didn't you didn't do enough to like earn this moment and like there's like there's like i just it's so weird to be like this movie's like two hours long and yet i'm like this movie needed like 30 more minutes like to really kind of let everyone breathe or just like cut out some characters the other thing in this film that i think did not work although i think it will be kind of quite varying because for certain people it's going to be big fist pump moments because it doesn't matter how kind of heavy-handed that messaging can be they'll be really excited to see that messaging which is totally fair. And the thing I'm talking about is the main theme of the movie, which is feminism and the patriarchy. This film wears its pro-feminist kind of vibes on its sleeves, and it is very anti the patriarchy. And it's very, very strong. It's like in the bones of the film. You can't ignore it. It's not like it's a surface level kind of thing. 
And that's actually quite interesting for a movie that's like about Barbie, which is a doll for children. And like, it's kind of interesting because it's like, okay, I kind of knew it was going to be this movie as well. So that didn't really surprise me. It was kind of like, it was refreshing to see that they were going to handle these topics, these really hard hitting, intense, very politically kind of charged and very intense topics such as feminism and the patriarchy. And it's very kind of adult themes for a movie called Barbie, which is, you know, generally for like five-year-old girls, generally speaking. You can like Barbie if you want, if you're an adult man or whatever. So on like paper, that's awesome. Whilst the themes are not bad themes and it's actually really amazing they're putting it in a movie like this, the way they do it and the actual execution of these themes is like really bad in my opinion. I found it really forced, really heavy handed, really preachy at times. Like there are a couple moments where I'm like, ooh, wow, we are really gonna get into this. And we don't, we don't get into it. It doesn't feel like it's having a conversation. It starts becoming very surface level and it becomes very simplistic, very surface level and really preachy. Just felt really kind of like lazy and cheap at times where it's kind of like, oh, okay, yeah. I've heard this before in better movies saying more interesting complex things. Like I don't think this has done anything new. It hasn't brought a new side of it. It hasn't kind of opened the conversation up in a really kind of fresh and unique way the way I guess I thought it would. Although I do think that maybe because this is kind of going to be targeted towards younger girls, it maybe shouldn't be so complex. Maybe I was an idiot for thinking it would be complex. I'm a 30 year old man. Barbie's not for me. So this movie isn't for me. And I noticed that when I was the only man in the cinema, although I saw it at 10 AM. So presumably they're all working their man jobs. 